Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to analyze mathematically the non-recursive algorithms. Okay, how we are writing the functions in recursive and non-recursive in the same way we can write any algorithm either recursive or non-recursive. So the steps are required to analyze mathematically the non-recursive algorithms are in the first step. So we need to identify the problem size. So that means decide the problem size. What do you mean by problem size? So we already discussed what do you mean by problem size in my previous video. So problem size is nothing but on how many number of inputs our algorithm is working on. Suppose we written a program or algorithm which is uh, adding two numbers though your problem size is two. Suppose if we return an algorithm to sort, so then how many numbers we are sorting? So that number of uh, na, number of elements, okay, that we are sorting, that is the problem size, okay. So that we need to decide the problem size. That is the first step. The second step is identify the basic operation. And we in the, my previous video we already discussed what you mean by basic operation. I will repeat. So basic operation is the operation, okay. So which is consuming more time when compared to other statements of the algorithm. So that means when we write a program, not all the statements will execute same number of times, okay. One one statement which is executing more times obviously take more time when compared to other statements. So the statement or the operation which is consuming more time when compared to other are called as basic operation that we need to identify in the third step. Next we need to decide whether we need to find all the three cases that is worst case, average case, best case or whether we need to find only the average case big theta. So that we need to decide. Okay, so that means whether we need to find all the three cases separately or only the average case. So now the question is when to find all the three cases and when to find only the average case. If the number of times the basic operation is executing depends only on the problem size, then we need to find only the average case big theta. Okay, so that means whatever the problem says okay our algorithm number of times the basic operation is executing only depends on how many number of inputs we are giving only on the problem size then we need to find only the average case big theta if the number of times the basic operation is executing depends not only on the problem size but also depends on how we give the inputs then we need to find all the three cases Okay, so that means sometimes we need to give some many inputs. When we are giving many inputs, we can give in any combination. So it depends on how we give the inputs. Suppose if only one input we are giving, okay, at that time, so it depends only on the problem size, we need to find only the average case. Okay, so when we, whenever we are giving multiple inputs, we can give in many options or many order or in many combinations or at that time, so we need to find all the three cases okay so this is the major thing so we need to decide in the third step whether we need to find all three cases or only the average case so the fourth step is we need to express or represent the number of times the basic operation is executing in terms of some expressions okay so that means the number of times basic operation executing that we need to write in terms of some summation that is summation expression okay so finally simplify or solve the summation summation expression whatever we got in the fourth step that we need to solve using some standard mathematical formulas and we need to obtain the order of growth okay so thus once we get the order of growth, so then that will be the time complexity of an algorithm. Okay, so these are the five steps we are using in order to analyze mathematically the non-recursive algorithm. First step is decide the problem size. Next, identify the basic operation. Next, we need to find whether we need to find all the three cases or only the average case. If the number of times the basic operation executing depends only on the problem size, then we need to find only the average case big theta. 
Suppose if it also depends on how we give the inputs, then we need to find all the three cases separately. That is big omega, big, uh, big O and big theta. Then the fourth step is to write the summation expression for in order to represent the how many times the basic operation executing. So in the fifth step, whatever the summation expression we return, so that we need to solve using some standard formula, mathematical formulas, and we are we need to obtain their order of growth. Whatever the order of growth we are getting, so that should be belongs to one of the basic efficiency classes. Okay, so we already discussed what is basic efficiency classes. So whatever the mathematical functions we use in the basic efficiency classes, in one in among them only it should be okay. So that means whatever the order of growth we obtain in the final step, that should be either one or n or log n or n log n or n square or n cube or exponential two to the power of n or factorial n factorial. Okay, it should be any one of these. So these are the five general steps what we are using while analyzing the non-recursive algorithm. In the fifth step, I told we need to solve the summation expression using some standard mathematical formulas. Some of the standard mathematical formulas what we are using while solving the summation expressions are there are some three to four uh, formulas we are using. So the first one most frequently used is summation where i is varying from the lower limit to upper limit and some c constant multiplied by some varying factor. So since it is a constant, so we will take constant outside and the varying factor will return the under the summation. Okay, c into summation of i is equal to lower limit upper limit into ai. This is the one frequently used formula. The second frequently used formula is summation of i is equal to lower limit to upper limit and if there is no varying factor and is a constant 1, if it is a constant 1, then we are using the formula upper limit minus lower limit plus 1. This is the most frequently used formula while, while we are solving. Okay, So this is the second one. The third one, summation of I, where I is varying from lower limit 1, 0, let us take some value, 0 to n and it is some I. Okay, That means it is some varying factor and its value is changing from 0, 1 to up to n. So then we can add some, simply you replace the value of I is equal to first time 0, then 1, then 2, 3, like that up to n. Since the summation, we are using plus. So, I saw first value of i is 0, next value of i is 1, next value of i is 2, next value of i is 3. So, like that we go on. So, finally n. Since the summation, I am writing plus. So, in this case, this formula we can return as n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. So, this is the another frequently used formula while we are solving. Okay. So, if we know these three formulas, we can analyze any, we can solve any summation formulas easily. Okay. Thank you.